Hey guys, welcome back. So I got a little get ready with me for y'all today and it's on this look right here. I really wanted to play with this palette so I used this for this look today. This is the new Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. This is what it looks like. So this is a look that we're gonna be doing, but really quickly, I wanna show you some swatches first. So let me get this swatch. Okay, so I came in a little bit closer so I can show you the palette closer up and then the swatches. It's very reflective, so it's a little bit hard to show on camera, but it is beautiful. Oh my goodness. It is mostly all shimmer. Um, there's only one matte in here, so that's, you know, maybe a bummer, but honestly, I mean, they're all so gorgeous that I'm okay with it because this is a gorgeous palette. Okay, so let's run through the different swatches. I'm gonna use a dirty brush here to show you my swatches, but I know y'all don't mind. Okay, so let's start right here. This one is Crystal. That one is Pixie. This is the one matte. That is Myth. This is Magic. This one is Wings. Over here, this one is Dream. Mystic, look at that, look at that, oh, that's amazing. This one is Fairy, that one is Trance, and that one right there is Marvel. So, amazing swatches. So I had to show you some swatches. These are gorgeous. So now we are going to get into this look. Okay, I'm gonna start off with some skincare. I'm gonna use the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior. I really like this for daytime. I feel like it just like feels really nice on the skin and it's like a good prepping step. You know what I mean? Good stuff. Now I'm going to use some of my Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Blemishless. I find that this really helps my foundation stay on longer and it's one of my favorite primers. Did that make sense? It's one of my favorite primers. <laughs> For foundation today, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Water Blend Face and Body Foundation. I wear it in Y245 and I'm using my Sedona Lace 480. I really have been liking this foundation. It's very liquidy and I don't know, just like feels really light on the skin, but it's buildable too. So I like that about it. What is this? What is happening there? No, we don't need little chunks of foundation on my face. I'm gonna apply some eye primer. Today I'm using my um, Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. Then while that's setting, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna use my NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade and my NYX Micro Brow. I wear this one in blonde and this one in taupe. So I had an itch on my neck and now I have lovely claw marks <laughs> on my neck. So. Don't mind my claw marks. Okay, so I'm gonna use um, a base, but this is really pigmented, so I'm just gonna use a tiny little bit. This is the Milk Makeup Eye Pigment in Mermaid Parade, and I'm applying it with the Sigma Concealer F70 brush. I'm literally just gonna get like the tiniest bit that I can possibly get, if I can get any out. There we go. Just a little bit, because it's just, it's so pigmented. See, so like even that's too much. So I'm just gonna try to apply this very sheer as much as I can. Okay, so I'm gonna take my palette and I'm gonna get some of Myth on a Cosette D220 brush and apply that into my crease. This palette smells yummy. Like it smells like vanilla or cupcakes or something, but it's very light. So it's really not like overpowering, but it smells very nice. Now I'm gonna take a small concealer brush and get some of Dream. And I'm gonna apply that all over my lid and just kind of do like a turquoisey green, sort of a smoky eye. That's the plan. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. It's got like a beautiful duochrome. Oh my gosh, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. 
Now I'm going to use my Real Techniques Detailer Brush and get some of Marble, and I'm going to apply that on the inner part of my lid. What? Oh my gosh. What is happening? That is so pretty. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. That is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna dab just a little bit with my finger on the inner part to see what that looks like. Oh, even more intense. That's amazing. Now I wanna add a little bit of dimension to my outer corner, so I'm using some of Makeup Geek's Americano. So any kind of like a dark shade, dark brown or whatever that you have, you don't even have to do this if you don't want to, but I just like a little tiny bit of dimension and shape in my outer corner. I just feel like it's, you know, better for my eye shape. So I'm adding a little bit. It's really, I guess, like the only quote negative is that there's not really a lot of, you know, matte shades or whatever. There's just that one, but I mean, they're such pretty shades. It's okay. Now I'm gonna apply some liner. So first I'm gonna tight line and then also just smudge the tiniest little bit of this on my upper lash line. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail Eyeliner. And then for my lower lash line, I'm gonna use this. This is amazing. This is the Marc Jacobs Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayon and this is in Mist Me. This is so pretty. Is that not the most beautiful, vibrant purple ever? Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with that thing. Now over that liner, I'm gonna apply some of Fairy. This is a Sedona Lace EB21 brush, and I'm really gonna concentrate this on kind of like the outer half, because I wanna use something else kind of lighter and brighter on the inner half. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm using my IT Cosmetics Superhero and also my Tightline Mascara. For my highlight, I'm just using Wet n Wild's Brulee. Just something matte to kind of counteract all of that shimmer going on, that beautiful shimmer. Now let's go ahead and deal with these under eye circles because they are out of control right now. <laughs> I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla and blend that in with this brush. This is actually an eye brush, but I've been using it for concealer lately. This is the Beauty Junkies Pro Detailer, so I'm going to blend that in with this, blend this in with this. And then over that, I'm going to use my NARS, no, not my NARS, my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. I'm gonna set my under eyes in T-Zone with my Ben Nye Luxury Powder. This is in Rose Petal. And I'm using an e.l.f. brush. I don't even know what this is. An e.l.f. blush brush. Then I'm gonna lightly set the rest of my face with my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder. And I wear it in Porcelain, Porcelain 10. And I'm using a blush brush from Real Techniques. I've never, I think I've tried to use this for blush um, a couple of times, but it's just, it's too big a brush. Like I like this more for powder. I'm gonna do a little bit more on my eyes. So I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild palette. So I'm gonna get some of Purple Horseshoe on that same um, EB21 brush. And I'm just gonna apply that to the inner part of my lower lash line, just for a little bit of brightness. Little bit of duo chromey goodness there. I mean, what? Look at that. Oh, it's so duo chromey. It is so duo chromey. Then I'm going to take some of Lucky Clover on just a pencil brush and apply this to the inner corners of my eye. And this is just so duo chromey and gorgeous. I feel like it just goes so well. With this palette, well, I really didn't know that it would go well with this palette, but I assumed it would go well with that Tarte palette. 
And now that I've used them together, yes, I think that they very much go together and complement each other so nicely. <gasps> I love that, so bright. I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring with my Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced. And I'm using a Delium Tools brush. I don't know what this is. This is a 945. And I'm gonna apply a little bit on my neck with my Delium Tools 992. For blush today, I'm gonna use one of my pretty Chanel ones from Timothy for Valentine's Day. I think this was last year, maybe. This is in Rose Bronze. And I'm gonna use just a MAC angled brush. It's a really kind of like pretty, I don't know, like neutrally ro a rose bronze. I was gonna say rosy bronze color, but it, yeah, I mean, that's that, that fits. For highlights today, I'm tempted to use something from the Moonchild palette, but I really wanna use this one from this palette and try this out. So I'm gonna get some of that on a Delium Tools 787 brush and just apply that to my cheekbones. Ooh, that is pretty. Oh, it's like a purpley pink kind of a shade, like a, again, a duochrome -y kind of a color. Oh, that's pretty. That is really pretty. I like that. To finish off the look for lips, I'm gonna use this L'Oreal lipstick. This is an Unending Kiss. It's kind of like a neutrally mauvey pink. I thought it would have kind of like that, I don't know, sweet girly, spring tummy sort of a look. All right guys, so that wraps up this Get Ready With Me. So overall first impressions on this palette, I absolutely love this stinking thing. I think this is so beautiful in its packaging. It's just pretty to look at. It's pretty to look at in a swatch. It works really well on the eyes and also the face for the highlighter. I think it's just beautiful. I'm loving it. I think it pairs really well with the Moonchild palette. Would probably pair well with the Alchemist or really just any duo chromey situation. I think it's just fun and beautiful and just a good time. It just makes me happy. So loving that palette. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what are you thinking about this palette? Have you tried it? Have you swatched it? Have you looked at swatches? What are your thoughts? I'd love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.